All right, let's see what I look like because I can't see. All right, we're back ladies. I am so excited to be here. You know, I love videoing and filming and just being here with you and sharing. And so today the video is a little bit different. I am just gonna say it. There is something that I really need to say. And then I'm just gonna go into some of the products that I love for summer that were on rotation for me that I think are important for you to know and just to kind of see what I was liking this summer season. So can you believe it's fall? So exciting. So a couple different announcements. My heated eyelash curler is in stock. This is a very exciting thing. So you're gonna be seeing that coming up on my website. And we are doing a lot of new things here in the studio. So you can make sure you're on the newsletter because I'm gonna be doing a lot of different announcements. Really fun things are coming up. Um, so I wanted you to just take note of that. And also, you know, my birthday is coming up next month in October. So that is going to be five years of my gray hair journey. Now, is it a journey still? Cause I'm basically been dye free for what, four years? Yes, it's always a journey, ladies. I, I really feel that, you know, a lot of people say to me, oh, your hair is so beautiful, it's so thick. You know, if mine look like that, this and that, whatever, it goes on and on. You know, I still do have days where I'm like, hmm, not quite so sure about this gray hair. You know, it's, it's, it's how I feel, right? So I have to, I have to do certain things mentally to be like, you know what, this is who I am. This is my unique self. This is me being who I am. I don't feel like I have to do anything different, right? Even as uncomfortable as it still is five years later, you know, it might sound very, you know, unusual for me to say that too, but it's just not that easy all the time. I, you know, I'm gonna be a year older. I wanna celebrate that. I wanna, I want to look at this as a positive. And I, and I remind myself, you know, that this is my, you know, God gave this to me. This is my unique feature. My eyebrows, that, that's just the way they are. This is a unique feature of me. I'm not trying to be somebody else. I'm not trying to be somebody on Instagram. I'm not impersonating somebody else. Right? So that is kind of what is happening right now to me and my company is that there is somebody that's impersonating my company. And it's really interesting that my whole brand and my whole platform is about women helping women, women inspiring women, women being there for each other. And I know this is completely possible because I see it all the time, right? So this is a very unique situation because it's confusing the marketplace and that's exactly the intention. And unfortunately it's a legal issue because I have trademarks on my name. So, you know, I know, and I care so much about you. I know you've been confused and that was the whole intention. Um, you know, I just, I feel bad for somebody that doesn't feel like they have unique qualities to bring to the marketplace or to create a line or to create a fashion line or whatever it is. You don't need to copy somebody else. You can bring what you have, your unique creativity, your insights. It would be like me taking my a book off the shelf in 2018 saying, you know, when I wrote my Beauty Reinvented book and just plagiarizing a book and saying, that's my book, changing a couple letters here and there. I mean, that, that just doesn't work. That's not authentic. That's not transparent. That's not being who you really are. You know, that's not, that's just copying somebody else is not your ticket to having a successful business. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to say it because it's out there and I'm fully aware of it. I'm fully aware of people that are, that are copying me in other aspects and it is what it is, right? So we can take this as an experience because you might have something personal going on that's, you know, not fair or not just or what have you. What do you do with that, right? You have to figure out in life what's important to put your energy to and what's not important. So that's going to be handled obviously through legal, but 
you know, you know, my creative spirit, my, my creativity is for you ladies and to be able to blog and to, to show up on my channel and be my best self and not be weighted down by others and negativity and things that are happening that really shouldn't be happening. But guess what? That's life. Things do happen. And we have more important things to concentrate on, such as when I did my fall, my fall lunch and, and things that really gave me inspiration and really, really get my creative juices flowing. And the videos I have planned for you for this fall, I have so much that I'm very excited about giving and it's all unique, it's all me. You know, there is no other Nicole Johnson. There is no other Nicole Cosmetics, spelled N-I-K-O-L. There, is, there isn't, because I created that. I created that over 10 years ago, a decade of doing this for you ladies. And it's been, highs and lows and self-doubt and all these things. But I'm here today. I still keep showing up. I still keep showing up because my passion behind my channel and my passion behind beauty and skincare has always been there. That is who I am. And we've talked about this multiple times about when I became a licensed esthetician in 2000, professional makeup artist in 96. I love helping women. I got involved in the Look Good, Feel Better program with the, the Cancer Society because I wanted to help women going through different aspects of their life, unexpected things. I find it to be pure joy for me to really be involved on a beauty level with women of all ages. And you can see that in my Fierce Aging series. I love being with women and teaching them and having them feel so good. And that's why as an esthetician, I can help women feel great on a psychological level and a physical level. That is just so empowering to me. So that is exactly what I'm going to keep on doing is just my creativity, my unique ideas, my unique products that I bring to the market. That will always still continue. No one will ever stop that for me. No one will ever, if you want to impersonate me, you want to copy everything I do, you want to do a carbon copy, it will never be the same because it's not the same energy. It's just not the same person. You can never duplicate somebody else. I think we all know that. And that's the message to you is that bring your unique self to the table. Because no matter what it is, you have something amazing to share. Whether it's raw, real, authentic, that's what's important now, ladies. Not being somebody else, not covering it up, not pretending to be something else. So with that said, we spent plenty of time on that. We will move forward and we're gonna get into my favorite skincare that I used all summer long. Okay, so I kind of put all everything all over the place, so it's not really in some kind of order for you, but I'm going to start with, this is, okay, let me start first with my mask. So I showed this a lot on um, Instagram. This is from Slip. This is a silk mask that um, I just put down and it picked up a bunch of lint, but I have these, I got on Etsy. I've shared this before. I'll link everything below. I found a woman that makes these. Um, it's beautiful. It is really beautiful quality. It's a four in one chain that you can use for your glasses. You know, I was always losing my glasses. This has little lobster clasps that goes on my mask. So basically, you know, like I've been filming here and UPS comes, what have you. All I do is I have it on, right? And then I can just put it up. And then it has really nice detail. I really like it. I got it in silver and uh, gold, which is really good. I figure out which, which mask and what outfits it goes with. So that's something that I really liked because it's helped me not like, I feel differently about the mask, having silk and having it look a little bit prettier than the regular mask that I was wearing here at the studio. Okay, so moving on, my eyes have been so dry from being on the computer so much, creating so much, etc. So one of my girlfriends told me about Oasis Tears. These are basically re-wetting your, your eyes, so they rehydrate your eyes. And I love them. I got them on Amazon and they I just use it in the morning and night and my eyes have felt so much better. Like they've been so dry. So this has been something that was new for me that I've been using all the time to help just really have comfortable eyes and not feeling like I was waking up and they were so red and I was like, we need to do something. I didn't want to have the anti-redness ones that I've shown you before. I wanted something that was just gonna help like lubricate them and get them back feeling normal. And then I can treat with if I still had redness. Okay, 
Um, two things that I love. One for working out, I will take the little Avion mist. It's been so, so hot and humid here in Florida. This is a wonderful mist that has the best misting nozzle. So when I say that, I'm gonna show you. See how that just mists the, your whole face? It's not like squirts on your face. It's very important to me. So I would just mist this after my runs with um, my Frenchie girls and really hydrate my skin throughout my workout, etc. It's really nice. It really makes you feel good. Now, when I'm using, when I need to hydrate my face to use with my fabulous skin scrubber, you know you all love this. This is the best tool. If you don't know about this, you need to watch the video, I'll link it here, that I show this fabulous tool. Blackheads, oil, I mean, your skin feels so different. And this is on Amazon, these are not that expensive. So my skin scrubber, I will spritz my face with my grape water, so I have antioxidants, it's not the tap water. We've been having a lot of problems with sewer um, breaks and having to boil water. This not, I'm not gonna, put that on my face and <laughs> try to use my skin scrubber. So I spritz my face with the grape water, soothes and moisturizes, same thing, great, great. See that mist? It's like, it's just nice, beautiful, um, the, this, the water on your face. It's not squirting and giving you like this um, droplets everywhere. So these, this has been such a go-to for the summer since it's been so hot and I want my skin to be purged of all that oil. Um, I've mentioned, let me see, I have sparkling soda. This is a wonderful dry bar. This has, um, not a lot of weight to it. So it gives it a nice shine to your hair. This is how I kind of finish my hair. I love the smell of it. And then also triple sec three in one finishing spray. So it's nice and soft. So I treat my hair to things that don't really weigh it down. Um, cause it does get weighted down very easily. Um, one of my favorite things to wash my silk mask with, because I wash my silk pillowcases too, is from the laundress. I didn't even know that they had Le Labo, which is the fragrance that I love. So this is Rose 31. I have this, I got it in LA when I was in LA for um, work last summer. And when you go to the Le Labo lab, they actually make the, the fragrance for you there. And then they put your name on the bottle and then what location it was. So that's really fun. I have one from London and then I have one from LA. And this is their laundry detergent where I do my hand washing. So it smells so beautiful. It's really, I hope that they come out with the more of the, the fragrances, but it's really, really beautiful. So that's what I do. I hand wash my, my mask. And I wanted to mention this product. I used it a little bit, but this is gonna be more for winter than summer. The Caudalie, the Venusaurus, this is the SOS Hydration Intense. If you have very dry skin, if you really need to replenish, this is a beautiful, beautiful hydrator. It is going to give you that feeling of protection. It is definitely, I mean, I have used quite, quite a bit, but, um, it's a really wonderful product if you're looking for weight and you're looking for hydration. So this is gonna be heavy though. So if you don't want to have that if extra hydration, if you're feeling really dry, SOS from Caudalie is going to be perfect. Okay, so my little routine um, for washing my face kind of went like this. I have my Elemis Rose Pro Collagen Balm. So I would use this first to kind of melt away all the oil, the sunscreen, everything that I was wearing. And then I would either, depending on, I would use my Ever Salicylic Rebalance Cleanser, which you know I've used for four, four or five years now. It's always a staple in the routine. Or I would use the nourishing cleanser from True Botanicals, which is empty, I'm on my second bottle now, was empty. This is such a beautiful cleanser. My skin feels really hydrated. So I had this kind of, I always have to do a pre-cleanse though. It's way too hot and too greasy here not to. So that was kind of like my, my go-to. Always the rose balm feels, smells so good. And then I would do my salicylic cleanser if I, if I, depending on what that day was, or I would do the True Botanicals. Beautiful, beautiful. Speaking of sunscreen, I always have been using, for the last couple of years, the La Roche Posay SPF 50 Mineral because it's like a serum. I don't love heavy, I don't really love sunscreen to begin with. And I don't like the smell of chemicals like the aviobenzone, so I get the mineral. And it's really nice and light. So this can go nicely into your foundation. This can go nicely just on your skin. It's not heavy. 
So that is my sunscreen, but I still do use a balm to break down everything on my skin at night. So when I wanted to take a little escape, this is like the best way to do it. I, I have loved this, gosh, uh, since 2003, I think, is when I fell in love with the Frangio Panty. Um, this is Frangio Panty Body Oil from Elemis. You can use it on your hair, nails, and body oil. And I have the hair masks. So I would be like this summer, especially when the, this first started, like March, April, I was like, oh my gosh, like not traveling. I want to feel like I had an escape. And I would put the hair mask in literally in the morning. So all day it's in so I could smell it. And then I would use the body oil at night. I can put this in my bath also. The only thing I don't love about this product is this, I don't know why they're still making it with this little silver like when my hands are oily, forget it. Like this thing, I'm surprised hasn't been down the drain. I don't love this packaging because I'm like, it's just a matter of time before this thing is like nowhere to be found. But if you want to take an escape, you want to feel like you're on an island, like Fiji. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's a sensory escape and it's doing such great things for your body. So that is something that was like, I would look at it and say, you know what, I do feel like escaping. I need a mental escape right now. Exfoliation, that was very big for me in the summer because my skin, I did not want to be getting, looking dull and looking like just was bumpy and that wasn't, that wasn't, the objective. I wanted smooth. I wanted glowy. I wanted hydrated skin. So first I had to get all the dead skin off. So Gold Fatten MD is one of my favorite exfoliators. This is Dr. Scrub Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. Ladies, this is not for, for a crystal scrub. This is not, um, very, very fine. There are some scrubs that have so many crystals, they don't dissolve off. They're all over the place. You still feel them. This doesn't do that. I put a little bit and like dot it like in four places. And then I use it to scrub where I'm really kind of rough. And I know I have dead skin buildup. My skin is like buffed, beautiful, soft, ready to put on a serum. So my skin can absorb the serum because I don't have all that dead skin sitting on my skin. I have loved this for so many years. Then if I, that's like once a week, depending on, I always just gauge my skin. If I want to exfoliate and I don't want to have something granule, I will use the Ever Reveal Biomedic Peel Pads, easy. This has azelaic acid in it, caviar lime, beautiful, light, nice antioxidants. Um, and what's really nice is that it's just a nice little pad. So it's easy, so easy. I take it down on my neck, decollete, do my, my hands because I have like little um, sunspots coming up from driving, what have you. It's a really great way to exfoliate but not oversensitize the skin. What's nice too is that when you buy the package like this, when you do the refills, all you do is order the refill packet, put it in here, less waste, less footprint. I like that. It's a clean beauty product too, so I love that. Um, Okay, so let me see my next thing that I've been doing, literally almost falling asleep though when I've, when I've been doing it at night because I'm so tired, is my new face. So, you know, I have a birthday coming up. So I was thinking to myself, I, I need to really start toning my skin. I've had my new face. I got this, oh gosh, years ago. This is the mini and it comes with the gel. So I put the gel on first and this is microcurrent. So it's going to tone. It's like working out my skin. So I literally will use it and it beeps. So, you know, when you're done, so I'll do it in this section, I'll do it on my jawline and then I do it. So I'm lifting my forehead. So I'll do this while we're, we're watching TV or like one of our favorite shows. And I'm literally sometimes like falling asleep with it. And then it beeps <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to finish this. So this has been something that I've been really dedicating myself to because it's cumulative, right? So you got to keep doing it to really tone and tighten the skin. I do see a difference. It does work, but you just have to be consistent with it. So that's, that's the key. All right. So I only have a couple products left. All right. So this is my mask that, you know, I love moisture shock from, um, uh, Natura Basse. This is a beautiful creamy mask. I love creamy masks. I love the hydration it gives me. So sometimes I do this twice a week, depending on for photo shoots. I love, I love using this mask. I'm a very big mask fan. And then I want to show you, okay, so the Caudalie, you know, I've used, this is really nice because this is their beauty elixir. 
this smells so amazing. This has so many uh, fabulous essential oils in it. This is their limited edition one that they actually sent me. I have bought so many bottles of these though, ladies. It's crazy. Soothing, glowing complexion. I, it's for all skin types. I just love, I love misting my face with this beauty elixir. Um, it's just something I do to set my makeup. I do it, you know, whether I'm at the studio, I'm hot. I just want that refreshing feel. It's beautiful. Now, you know, I love roses and I, Chantakai actually sent this to me, which was so thrilled because this is a pure rose water. You know, listen, you can, gosh, I'm spraying so many, so many different things on my face. This is beautiful. This is just rose water. It doesn't, it's not like the essential oil, like that kind of feeling that you get that uplifting like you do with the caudalie, but it's beautiful, it's smaller, but you know, listen, I'm partial to anything rose. You know that I'm now drinking rose nectar. If you watch my Insta Instagram, I've been drinking rose nectar. One of my beautiful followers told me about it and it made me so happy. I said, I don't know about this. Of course I want to ingest roses. I do everything else, right? Um, only a couple products left. I don't know if this is still available, but this is Tom Ford's foundation. This is called um, their Flawless Glow Foundation SPF 30. I don't know if it's still available because I would love to buy more bottles of this. It's like a serum. I would use this for my beach photo shoots. I would use this in the sunrise photo shoots. My skin looked beautiful. I would just buff it on with my buffing brush. It's so nice and I have a feeling that they discontinued this. I think, I don't know. Let me know if you find it because I want it. Um, and then only, let me see, I have like two, oh, oh, I have a product that I have to show you. Okay. My Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. I've used this. I bought the, this is actually a jumbo size. They had it at Sephora on special. I think it was for labor. No, I don't know. Sometime this summer. This is a beautiful serum that brightens the skin. I forget they said that one sells every so many seconds or minutes. Beautiful product that does give you that beautiful radiance. So after I use my doctor scrub, I'll put this on and it's like, it just, it just soaks into my skin and I'm getting that brightening. I'm getting that really beautiful hydrating serum. I really like it. All right. So, you know, I've talked about my Baccarat Rouge 540, right? This is, it's a really expensive perfume, but I use it as a hair mist. So I basically, I always have to have, you know, I'm very partial to like this smells and feeling uplifted. So I'm always incorporating this no matter where. Now it's in my hair, you know, like oh, it's spraying on my face. So this is a great, this is Mason Francis um, from Paris. This is a really great, I have a la rose also, and I spray this into my hair. And I got to tell you, it's really nice when you kind of are feeling like, gosh, my hair doesn't smell that great. Or I feel like, you know, it's day three of my blowout or day four. This just refreshes. You're not adding any product to it. You're adding just a beautiful light fragrance. That's not going to um, dry out your hair because it doesn't have alcohol. It's a hair mist. That's exactly what it is. I love it. You know, I love it. So I've mentioned it multiple times. All right. So one last thing that's really I, that I did switch up in, I think it was March, April. I did find this last, I think last year in Vegas when I was at um, Cosmoprof, I found Cocoa Floss. This is a floss that everybody should be using. Um, this is from Coconut. It's a thicker floss. I'll tell you what, if my regular floss was like I wasn't even flossing, this is amazing. Coco Floss. They used to sell it at Nordstrom's, I think, but I just order it from Coco Floss. And on the back, it's really neat. It says 60 days, 30 days, two weeks. Like, so you know how much longer you have. They also have like auto delivery too and packages. So you're never out of floss. I am such a big flosser. I think it is so important. And tongue scraper, that's also important. So Coco Floss, you have to get it and you have to let me know what you think. It is life-changing. <laughs> it's life-changing. And, um, I think that's it. Those are my products that I just kind of was like on rotation. Um, I have really great fall products that are going to be new, new to me. I've been researching. I am so excited to bring them to you. Totally different, totally different from my normal kind of rotation. And I cannot wait to share with all the fun, exciting things that are gonna be happening this fall. Make sure you're on the newsletter because you will be the first to find out what's going on. And ladies, thank you so much for being here. So much for supporting me. It means the world to me and you know that because the reason I show up every week is because of you, your comments, your love, everything that you really, 
do for me and encourage me to keep creating product for you, keep you know, delivering a message that I feel is really important to us as we age and to feel better about ourselves and to look beautiful. So until my next video, I'll see you later.